stick it in there you know it's not needed you, you don't do that don't chop off a nail and put it in there you don't do it um, it's bad practice it's it's not good you know if the fuse blew it blew as I said for a reason um, I can't stress that enough yes I know there are people that are highly respected uh, especially on YouTube um, that you will see say air eh, fuck it it's only an experiment okay I'm not saying that they are bad okay they have lots of knowledge they do risk assessments they do all sorts okay and no before anyone says it I'm not talking about photon um, there's lots of people and the only reason I say it is because he done a risk assessment the other day there are lots of people that I see doing it um, you know just use the correct stuff you know it doesn't cost much and yes you will see people doing it okay but they understand what they are doing they're not the people that are sitting here watching this type of video okay they have a full understanding of what they're doing they've done the risk assessment they've they know what's going to happen and you'll probably find that they have got something else in there to keep them safe okay so just bear that in mind don't necessarily copy others next one earth cable I said it before don't use earth cable for live or neutral only use earth cable for earth cable okay now there's different size earth cable for you know different size loads different you know there's so, so many different earth cables a city there's stranded earth cable there's tri rated earth cable I'm not even sure that's right um, as I say I'm not an expert on all this, on all this kind of stuff but I'm giving you some common sense and that's all it is okay um, just common sense it really is and if you keep your head about yeah um, as you guys know I have to take strong painkillers if I've had morphine I don't play with high voltage I don't I don't, I don't well I don't even play with 240 volts um, and again some people would say you shouldn't play with high voltage you shouldn't play when I say play I mean do experiments you know but it's playing it's all playing if you're not having fun then it's not worth doing so I don't want people to be scared but at the same time we have that scare fight and flight reaction whatever um, for a reason okay and that is to protect us if you are scared of something it, it's you know it's, it's for a reason um, but yeah you want to be scared of MOTs but at the same time you don't want to be sand sitting there like you've got it all set up you know what you're doing okay and you're sitting there shaking away because you're so scared that you know that's not helping anyone just play safe okay now there's other things like just small precautions, small things you can take if you're playing with high voltage. You can have high voltage signs. Now I know that's a big one, okay? Um, probably a bit, bit, bit extreme. Um, you can get stickers just for sticking on things. Yeah. So use label, you know, label things. Um, You've all seen my very acts up, and you know I've got danger live part, um, auxiliary ballast danger live part. I've got over here. Um, I'm going to take you over there so you can see it because it's, it's it's all important stuff, really, guys. It really is. Um, you have to excuse me because I have to keep flicking my lens over. I've got a thing here that says warning dual supply isolate both AC and DC before carrying out work both of those are supply and voltage okay not now obviously the variac's not on when it's on you'll see 
my red light flashing yes it's covered by wires but it's a strobe it flashes you know um, and there's also things over here signs to tell people what and how you know generally people shouldn't be using your stuff unless they've been taught by you how to do it um, you know I can't I can't tell people what to and what not to do. I don't want people to think I'm being Mr. Um, righteous and Almighty. You know, I don't know everything. I learn stuff every day. Um, now, this safety hasn't really covered everything that I'm sure there's people wanting to know about. Um, there's a lot more safety, okay? Um, now I speak with Sparky Projects most nights, chat with him, you know, he's a really, really good bloke. Um, he's helped me out no end, he's taught me a lot of stuff. Um, we always sort of say, me and my mates, and Sparky included, obviously he doesn't say about himself. We always say, you know, if there's something you don't know, ask Sparky. It doesn't matter what it's about, ask Sparky. And I do apologise, mate. I, I don't want everyone sort of coming your way asking you loads of questions here. <laughs> um, and Sparky always says, oh, I don't know everything, you know. I don't know everything. He knows most things. I haven't managed to ask anything um, that he hasn't known an answer to. So, but even me, uh, I say that even me as if like I'm some kind of like expert. As I say, I'm not an expert at all, okay. I really, I'm really not. Everything I've learned is self-taught. Completely, completely self-taught. I started playing with high voltage um, years ago when I first wanted to build a Tesla coil. Um, and I've learned from there on in. You know, I've wired up complete houses that have had to pass the NEI, CIE, whatever it is, test, you know, and they've passed. So, um, but you know it's, it's all common sense don't be afraid to ask um, and I'm going to put a couple of links at the bottom or should I say in the description to these because it's now going to be split up into two videos unfortunately my camera splits it into 10 minute videos which is a bit of a pain in the ass but there um, I will be putting a link to some safety places um, say, uh, like information sites basically one of those will be Sparky Projects he has as I say an extreme amount of knowledge um, he's given me permission to, to use any of his work say anything on his website you know to use his work and to try and get the point across or whatever which thank you very much mate that's extremely kind a lot of people like to keep things to themselves, like they make a new circuit and they're like, I'm not gonna tell anyone how to do it. No, I don't I don't agree with that, you know. I, I think sharing's good. And and I think it's extremely kind that Sparky said, you know, you can use my work. He's got a full on website, you know, go there, visit it, have a look round it, read it. That is something I cannot stress enough. Read. Read, read, read. That's how I've learned a lot of stuff. Put stuff into practice, don't just go high voltage, start low voltage, do other stuff first. So I'm probably rambling on a bit now, but that's because safety is such a strong thing, okay? So if there's one thing I want you to remember, it would be that safety is the most important thing of all. If it's not safe, don't do it. If a fuse blows, get a new fuse, figure out why it blew, okay? Um, don't use the wrong colour cables, don't use uh, switches that are rated um, for 3 amps for a light bulb, like I did once, um, for a heavy inductive um, load, you know? Make sure you use things within their ratings, and if you don't understand their ratings, Ask somebody, ask me, put in the comments. If I can't reply to you because of the stupid comment system, um, I will find a way, you know, I just ask, 
please do ask. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and 